Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
We're gonna get these girls down to the water. Unbelievably warm right now. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. It feels like the middle of summer. We'll get them down to the water. We'll go back get the Pekings. And then uh, Doug and I will bring the Pekings down. I've got the canoe sitting there, uh, ready to go. No screwing around. And uh, we'll get the ducks out onto the water. We'll take them out and we'll pivot head the whole thing. So we'll just get these girls to the water and then we'll go back. I am so proud of Doug. Pretty soon he's going to be just do. He's pretty soon he's going to do this, and I won't even have to say anything. He'll just take him to the swamp for me. Well, that will be cool. Ah, uh, we got it from the water. Doug and I are going to go back and uh, get the peakings. Come on, Doug. Let's go. All right, we're back up here to get the uh, the peakings, and of course, they're uh, <laughs> playing in the mud hole here in the in the bush. But uh, now that I've got Doug the herder, the duck herder here, it's so much easier. So, But for some reason you can't herd them together, these, uh, Doug, left, Doug, Doug, left. All right, they'll come out, uh, they'll follow us here. Come on, Doug. Doug, right. Doug, right. Right, Doug. Doug, left. Okay, Doug, stop. We'll just wait till the ducks come out. Doug, Doug! Doug, stop. 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 Just stop. Doug, stop. The word stop here, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he, he loses it sometimes. But, Doug, left. Doug, left. 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 All right. Doug, right. Doug, right. 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 Okay, Doug. Doug, left. Doug. Doug. Left. Doug. Right. This is so much easier with Doug helping. All right, now this is where we got a Doug's got to go in the intercept to the right. Deke the ducks out. Doug, back. Back, Doug. Back. Back. Back, Doug. I got these. All right, now here's the. Uh... All right, Doug. Come on, Doug. Right. Doug. Right. Right, Doug. Come on, Doug. Right. Doug. 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 Right. Okay, Doug, Doug, right, right. Doug, left, left, Doug, left, Doug. Doug, right, right. Okay, Doug, left, left, Doug, quick, Doug, left, left, left. See, the peaking, we get some stragglers. I'm gonna come, Doug, up here. Get the straggler. Left. Left, Doug. Come on, Doug. 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 Left. 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 Oh, Doug's starting to think I'm on to play. He's starting to take little nips at me here. He's such a silly dog. He's got a limp today. He hurt himself yesterday. Uh, going ballistic through the swamp. Um, Doug's uh, really hard on his body. Doug, left. Doug. 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 Left. Left. Left, Doug. Doug, right, Doug, right, Doug, right. Come on, right, Doug, right, right. Go through here. Get the ducks to come out. Doug, left, Doug. I mean, right, sorry, so I'm doing it again. Left, left. No, Doug, you're cutting them off. Doug, over here, over here, Doug. You got a, you got a, you got a split flock happening here, Doug. 
the peaking are the hardest to uh okay we got uh, one lone duck here all right doug 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 right this the stragglers all right doug he doesn't like the uh, mating action here now the peaking aren't turning out to be near as good as the ruins are here doug left left doug left doug left left get that one up there left come on doug come on come on left i'm guiding him to get him to understand Doug, stop, Doug, stop, stop, Doug, Doug, stop. Stop, Doug, relax. Poor little dog, Doug. Left, 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 Doug, left, Doug, 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 left. Oh, the peaking army, they're not near as uh, cooperative. Doug, 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 left, 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 Doug, left, come on. Doug right. Doug left. Doug left. Left. Doug. Doug left. All right. All right. This that was crazy. I don't, I'm debating if I should even show that footage. But the uh, the runes are still down there. That's a good thing. Look at this duck going to come back. Now I got the canoe down here. We're not screwing around today. Come on, duck, let's go. Doug, back. Doug, Doug, back. Let the duck get in front of you. Doug's really sore today. Poor guy, yesterday, he really pushed himself. He was a nut running through the swamp uh, when I was out in the boat and the canoe down the creek and he was just being crazy he ran a lot I, I'd have to say he probably ran this whole property one side or the other ten times yesterday uh, he slept like unbelievably dead he slept, well, he slept for almost 11 hours That's, I, I, he wore himself out alright so I'm going to get the canoe out here and then I'll turn the pivot heads back on Okay, I'm just gonna let the pivot heads run. I thought, in case you never know, I might come up with something good here. So, uh, I just threw some logs down here in the swamp just to keep my uh, canoe off the ground uh, so that it stays dry. Nothing, uh, you know, eco friendly uh, boat uh, ramp here or boat uh, rack in the uh, swamp. So, Doug's gonna start digging. Okay, this is. Uh, this is going to be exciting. Well, I know for a fact Doug's going to run down. You know, he's going to run uh, the edge of the, the creek, which if any ducks decide to uh, veer off this way to the creek, they're not going to be able to because Doug's going to be going through there. He's already proven that he likes to follow me in the boat. Uh, but we took him for a ride last night in the aluminum boat, and I didn't have any camera. It was just Cindy and I, and you know, doing a little bit of couple thing out there with the with the dog. And <laughs> uh, Doug is uh, not a boat dog. He's got a little training head of him. It was it was a it was a pretty good event, but uh, these girls and boys oh there's some serious sex going on there, water sex. That's that's easier on the females, but uh, I gotta get the canoe into the water here, and hopefully the pivot heads uh, film this whole thing. I hope I don't lose this because I wanna I, this is gonna, I think this is gonna be good footage. Much better than the last footage I had when I duct taped the uh, camera to my chest. All right. What a beautiful day. It's... All right. Now we've got to get the, uh, the ducks ahead of us here so they don't go around me when I get into the canoe. Come on, Doug, let's get these ducks going down the uh, water. Doug left, Doug, 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 left, left. Okay, Doug, back. 
All right, that's handy. Yeah, this Doug, this left right thing is uh, he uh, he can be my duck runner. That'd be cool. All right, see, this was exactly why I have to get Doug to make sure he forces them out. Come on, Doug, left. Doug, forget about chewing. He's just digging. He's that's all he's doing is digging. He's uh obsessed with digging up all the roots and that. Come on, Doug. Doug, left, left, Doug, left. All right. Oh, they sneak, see, they keep sneaking back. And I gotta deal with this before I get in. Doug, left, Doug, left. Doug, left, left, left. Doug. Come on, Doug. Left. Left, Doug. Left. All right. Okay. This should be... I hope this works. This footage... This should be good. Doug, left. Doug, left. Oh, a canoe. Oh, the water went down here from... I came in last night, it was very easy. Doug left. Doug left. Left. Left, Doug. Doug left. 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 Oh, look at the crazy ducks. All right, duggies. Everybody relax. Look at this, we're gonna go out the lake. The fear of the unknown. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> uh, after last night, I'm not, uh, I don't want Doug in a boat, in a canoe with me. He's, uh, he's not at that stage. Well, because of Doug, <laughs> the uh, it's tricky, uh, you know, bringing a 16-foot canoe. See, this is uh, Doug's on the wrong side. Oh, and ducks. Oh, Doug's causing a panic in the wrong direction. Oh, look at that. They got it. They intercept right through. Damn. Well, Doug, you're on the wrong side this morning. They're back to the house. Doug, no! Doug was, he had the canoe. He almost tipped me. He had it uh, with his paw and he was tilting it sideways. Yeah, we're going to lose the ducks. Unless I can get Doug to go around to the right. No, they got past Doug. Well, that was the uh, the first attempt at you know getting them down. Doug, Doug, come back here. What a shame. <sighs> mm. 
Well, we'll do it another morning. Hey, Doug. Yeah, well, I'll head it back. You know, it's bizarre that ducks would rather be walking around here. Well, they don't want to be at the lake. I, I don't understand this. It doesn't make any sense to me. I went down there with the canoe. I didn't bother turning the pivot heads on. There was nothing to show. Uh, Doug and I went down and uh, he ran the, uh, oh, Doug Bumblebee. Um, Doug uh, ran the, uh, the shoreline along the creek uh, through the bulrushes and uh, didn't uh, rustle up anything. No, uh, you know, can of goose flew out or anything like that, or uh, no, you know, that's uh, basically within about eight feet uh, on both sides of the creek. Doug ran it, and and I paddled up it, and there's not a sign of anything down there that would uh, cause the ducks to be afraid. Is the only thing I can think of is, you know, this morning I, I did hear that the geese were back. Yesterday morning the geese weren't back. Yesterday morning, uh, yesterday at all, we were on the lake uh, with the boat, and uh, there was like no geese anywhere on the lake uh but this morning uh at four o'clock i heard a bunch of uh honking again and uh when i got up it's uh you know the first light there and i could see uh you know there was four geese again down there so i don't know if they're using this as a uh you know a ritual courting area uh, but they i haven't found a nest yet so it's bizarre and you know yesterday i was on the lake for uh Oh, two and a half, two hours. Uh, we went around. We went around it twice, and uh, you know, nothing flew around. There was no action on the lake at all. So, something is causing the ducks to be afraid of the lake. So, well, let's we'll keep trying every day. Just keep taking them down, and it's good exercise. Like that training Doug to be a herder. <laughs> I'm gonna wear some inches off. All right, we'll do egg recon here. Yesterday, I, was, uh, I did egg, uh, I did the uh, swamp run uh, with the ducks and spent the whole day, you know, back and forth trying to get them to go stay down there. Well, the whole day, a good part of the day. And there was five ducks in here that uh, were nesting. And do we have five again? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's the same five. They uh, they get really upset at duck. Doug, I know, eh? <laughs> Do you see that? He, he nose to nose to the duck. Come on, Doug. Hey, Doug, come on. That was that was pretty good. I wish I would have had a better camera for that one. Uh, like, they touch noses. That's hilarious. Big dog like that. All right, what do we got for eggs today here? Oh, my back is sore today. I had a wicked physical day yesterday. All right, so it's three. Four, five, six, seven, one chicken egg, eight, nine, ten, we got thirteen duck eggs, and another chicken egg. Let's throw us thirteen, fifteen. 18, 18, and I bet you there's some buried here. No, that's 18, 19, 20. Oh, look at this girl. Yesterday was the same thing. She buries herself. So that's 20, 23. Chicken eggs on top here, so they'll get crushed. 23, 24, oh, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 and 30. 31. 2 and 33. 33. Yeah, and, and if anybody, you know, you're wondering why I don't leave them, let the ducks uh, 
you know, do their own in here is because this shed gets too hot. And I know I get, I get a lot of questions in the comments about why I don't let them in. Uh, I would have to leave the exhaust fan running almost uh, non-stop in here or put it on a thermostat. Uh, I have a thermostat, but I might be using it for my hatcher, so I, I don't want to use it in here for this. And um, Plus, this, like, this building gets, like, super, super heated. It's a metal shed. I don't know, it's, it's, it's dark brown, so it soaks the heat up really bad. And you've got to run the, uh, you know, the fan pretty well non-stop. All right, so we got a duck here. Come on, Dougie. Come on. Come on. Doug doesn't like when I touch the ducks like this. He uh, gets upset. All right, Doug, get out of my way here so I can get this duck out of here. Come on. Come on, Doug. How many was that? Oh, look at that, Doug. No, Doug. Doug, get back. There. There. All right, so I think that was 33. I think it was 33. So that's 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. Um, that's actually down because we should really be getting like 50 eggs. I'm just gonna double check. This is, uh, egg production has dropped off a touch. I wonder if it's because they're free ranging. I wonder if I've got females that are out there that aren't coming back. So, oh, let's go around the pen. Uh, that, there might be a bunch on the, laying around here on the, on the dirt, the gravel. Let's take a look here. Doug, don't eat the duck poop. Stop it. No. All right. <sighs> Oh, there's another one. So what was that? 41, so that's 42. Oh. There's a 43. A little bit of blood on that girl. 43. 44. 44. Ah, that's yeah, so let's go into the barn and do the Muscovies. Uh, this water uh, station works way better. It oh, that cuts the mess down uh, big time. And then there's a ring of uh, poop, which will be easy. I'll just take the shovel, scrape it, and it's gone. Uh, because ducks, for some reason, when they drink their poop, they poop at the same time. It's like when they get into the water, you know, they uh, poop as soon as they get in the water. Same thing. I think it's the water and poop are connected with them. All right, so let's go into the barn. All right, egg recon for the Muscovies here. See what they've given us today. Yesterday, uh, I don't know if I videoed or not. I can't remember. It's a, it was, yesterday was pretty blurry here. I did a lot of stuff. Um, transplanted my plants for my garden, and it was a. I didn't video that, but uh, oh, we got a Muscovy sitting on a nest. Yeah, I did some gardening work yesterday. Little things, nothing video worthy. But I hear another duck coming in. Yep. Okay. So let's see what they've given us here. We got them. All right, two back here. Two beautiful clean eggs. After today, I'm a day and a half away from another tray of Muscovy eggs. Uh, that's after today. Uh, it'll be a day and a half worth of eggs and we'll be able to put another tray in the incubator. All right, girl. Okay. This might go upside down because I don't have my head cocked in here to... Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Let me see under you. How many you got? Come on, ducky. All right, I got to get on my hands and knees here to get in here. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, she just nippled me. <laughs> Come on. What have we got? Oh, we got three eggs. See, I like the way they nibble you. They always catch you, you know, they startle you. They don't hurt. Uh, not like Miss Nasty this winter. She uh, was a good pinch. Let's go, we sort of nibble on you. So what is that? Three, six, eight. So yesterday, I got nine eggs. So one of the girls isn't laying as often, or they're working on a, like a seven-eighth egg uh, ratio. They're so cute. It's just the way you can, you know, you can handle them like this, and... And they calm down when you pet them. 
you know, it's like they know that, uh, you know, you're not a threat. Okay. I hope we have about a hundred females this year. Okay, because the females are the only ones that can fly, and uh, that would look so cool to see a hundred females flying around the yard. Unfortunately, it wouldn't make them any good for meat, because once they start flying, their uh, breast meat gets really tough. Unfortunately. They, uh, I'd have to get some new drakes and make a big giant breeding stock. So it's going to be a tough call on that one. Dilemma. I know, but you girls are safe. Because we're going to tag is, and you are not going to get into the cold bunch, that's for sure. Alright, so that's eight eggs for the Muscovies today. There's a... Uh, oh, no, nine! Haha! -ha. Nine for nine today. Excellent for the Muscovies. Alright, that was a good score. Alright, I'm on with my day. I'm doing a job today that my ducks are slacking off of, and that is cutting my grass. Alright, uh, this is the uh, Muscovy egg tray that uh, I've got, uh, we'll see, we'll throw today's nine eggs on, and uh, see how many we got left here to, uh, to make a, uh, another uh, batch in the incubator. You know, I'm, I'm just writing today's date and marking them with their Muscovy, so there's no chance of them getting uh, mixed up. I'm just wondering how close we are to a tray here. So after this, we'll make um, uh, 189 Muscovy eggs in the... Um, incubator so oh mosquito bite my back i got the door open so the back room i've got all the windows here with the open with the uh screens on them but the problem is i've got the door open right now because it's really really warm out and i got to keep this room uh semi uh air conditioned well free flow of air so that the incubator doesn't get too hot so what do we got left here we got uh two four six eight ten twelve thirteen thirteen eggs to go and we'll have another muscovy tray Oh, and I'll, while, while, while we're in here, I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a sneak peek here. That's yesterday's eggs. Uh, they're going to the Asian grocery store, but uh, this is the uh, the hatching tray uh, that I've come up with. Um, there's going to be 12 of them because I, each tray can hold 50 eggs. I've put this, uh, that red uh, um, stuff from my old CD rocks. I'm going to sterilize it with uh, chlorine. I'm going to sterilize everything, actually. Uh, but I'm going to drill some holes uh through the sides of this uh to get some air in here um i'm gonna leave the so the bottom solid just so that uh because I, they're going to be sitting on the red grid as shelves and uh, this and i don't want uh if you know if they're when the ducklings hatch that everything drips through uh like the other hatching tray i have the bottom of it uh is open so you're it's dripping through and i don't want to have a mess i want the mess to stay contained in here so but i'm going to drill holes on the side to get uh you know so there is some air uh flow around it uh there's going to be room for the you know the air from the back side of the uh, hatch on the front side and the width there'll still be air movement going around but um you know i, I think it's going to work out there but uh 12 trays my hatch is a little bigger than i wanted to build it's a uh, <laughs> thing's going to be uh roughly th about three and a half feet wide uh by three feet deep by six feet tall that's not going to be a small unit, so but it'll have the capacity to do uh, 600 ducks, 1200 uh, or 12, eight, 12 trays at 50 ducks a tray. It will be the capacity of the hatcher, so that's the tray idea I came up with. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go cut my grass because my ducks are not doing that for me.